Hi, it's Kathleen from Bailey Academy, mom of five, homeschooling three of them, ages 10, 12, and 16. Uh, today I just wanted to share a resource that I recently found um, for teaching your children, not just critical thinking, but how to be a skeptic. Um, not to the point of like, you know, not believing anything, but just a healthy amount where you don't believe everything you see, especially on social media and the internet. And, you know, I don't know about you, but my some of my younger kids, or at least my youngest kid sometimes says something is true. Oh, how do you know it's that way when we disagree? Oh, I saw it on YouTube. That doesn't mean it's real. So this is an awesome resource I just found. So I didn't, haven't tried it with the kids yet, but I just want to share it with you. Um, it's called uh, <laughs> Generation Skeptics. I forgot what it was called for a second. Um, and I'm going to show you, turn around you in a minute, turn you around in a minute to show the computer. Um, but it looks awesome and it's for all different grades free I should have mentioned that free way to share skepticism with your kids in a healthy way and I learned about it by the SEA homeschoolers which is secular eclectic academic homeschoolers group so I'll link and not group uh, their website their the newsletter so I'll link them below in the comments as a thank you for t showing me this and then I'm going to turn around and show you the website okay just a minute okay so I don't know how to do the thing where you kind of show your screen so this is the best I can do I hope that's okay so first of all I just wanted to show you that um, the SEA homeschoolers magazine this is the magazine um, I have it up here but um, I will show you their website later but this is generation skeptics okay so get to know generation skeptics don't believe everything you believe the Generation Skeptics program aims to develop and foster an understanding of the world through inquiry-based inquiry learning. We provide material to complement and enhance existing science and educational programs. They aim to install the following skills in young people. To ask questions, be skeptical, and take nothing at face value. Question their own beliefs and opinions. It's okay to be wrong. Encourage their inquiry-based learning and critical thinking. Show how to deal with evidence, recognize it, collect it, figure out its value, and act on it. Show how to navigate the minefield of ideas, claims, and phenomena we encounter daily, and nurture a sense of curiosity and wonder at the universe we inhabit. I love that idea because it is okay to be wrong, but also more the inquiry-based learning. So don't just, even the stuff that I teach my children, I don't want them just to just be like, oh, mom says that. Okay, so it's true. I mean, I want them to believe me, but I can be wrong too. Everybody can be wrong. And so I encourage them if they aren't sure if I'm right or if they want to know more about it to look more into it and see what they think or sometimes we're like you know i'm not sure if that's right and we'll we'll look it up but i always tell them you don't just like find your facts from say wikipedia i tell them that you know you want to look for a reputable website and i explain how to find that but this is going a first step further and explaining that even a reputable website could be wrong you know sometimes something a, a you know a president or a prime minister says can be wrong sometimes something that a scientist says can be wrong people used to think that you know there was no such thing as germs that and they, not that they didn't think there was some, but they didn't even know that was a thing, right? We found that out later. We used to think that lots of stuff that have since been proven different. So even stuff we teach is not good. So they do things where they go places as well and teach and stuff. So that's what this is showing. Um, and then the educational resources. This is the part I wanted to show you. So the lessons include teacher notes, if they have any curriculum standards, which as homeschoolers doesn't really matter. Um, and it's all free. Note these lessons can be downloaded as PowerPoint points so teachers can modify them, but sometimes it looks a little weird, so just check it. Okay, so this is the first one that they recommend doing. Can two people see the same situation differently? Um, which line is longer? This is grades K to 12. So this is to introduce them to the whole idea using an optical illusion that people can have disagreements and see things differently, but neither one of them is necessarily wrong. I don't know if you've ever heard of the, the thing where the two people are standing and there's a six or nine on its side and one person's on one side and one person on the other side and they both looking at it so the one person looks like a six one person looks like a nine i told my kids that many 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 times that the one person is not wrong the other person is not wrong they're both right it's in this case you know it's an example of like how how i see a situation and how someone else sees a situation could both be right at least in some parts um that doesn't mean the other person is wrong i try to teach them that not that they necessarily get it but that's what we talk about a lot 
And then there's getting down to basics. So teaching young people to identify misinformation. What's your AI IQ? So talking about AI. So you can see like for this one here, there's a slide presentation, questions, answer key, a PDF version, a lesson plan, teacher evaluation, um, and some extras. And you can all download this, all of this for free. This one here is for grades nine to 12. It's not like an order of ages. Ted Ed science versus pseudoscience. So this one you just download, it looks like it's a YouTube thing. So you just go to YouTube. Grades three to 12, words have power over rice. Doesn't that sound interesting? Um, they will practice designing experiments after learning the importance of multiple trials and double blind techniques. Lesson stresses the importance of trying to prove yourself wrong, not right. So presentation slides, lesson plan, and so on. Grades six to 12, the, well, I guess that says crap test. <laughs> Um, that's, it sounds interesting to find out what the, oh, here, currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, and purpose is what it stands for. Learn how AI is being used to spread misinformation on YouTube. Another YouTube video. K-12, to skeptical birding. An introduction to birding basics. Students will learn how to look for evidence when identifying common bird species. Making mistakes is part of the process. All this stuff, download for free. This one sounds fun. Grade 1 to 5, Scooby-Doo, who, what, when, and where are you? Scooby-Doo and the gang were skeptics. Students will watch a Scooby-Doo episode and apply their new critical thinking skills to three real-life situations. That sounds fun. Grade 6 to 12, ghosts, psychics, and social media. Grade 9 to 12, teaching skeptical thinking about ghost stories. And then it says here, approaching new information with an open mind is healthy. Questionable social media ads, photoshopped images, GMO misinformation, and climate denial are all real-life examples of what young people may encounter daily. So we have here how to sell pseudoscience, uh, climate sleuths, uh, identifying climate misconceptions, follow the money trail, uh, factor fairy, talking about the first photo manipulated hoax in history, the cutting little fairies. They will learn how and why photos are manipulated and try manipulating their own photos using free software. GMOs, what's the deal? And then there's some information here if you want to try a gen skeptics club at your school or college, like if you wanted to make a group about it, there's some information on how to do that and some other useful web resources for young skeptics. Um, this one here, Cranky Uncle, I already had bookmarked. It looks kind of cool. So, um, and some more stuff. And then uh, if you wanted to have them do a Z Zoom and it was your students for free, I don't know if they would do that with homeschoolers, but there's some different topics there you could do there, some book recommendations, and that's that. And this is, sorry, don't wanna, this is for the Center for Inquiry in the States, but absolutely could be used anywhere. And we'll be using it in our classroom at some point. I just have to figure out when the best time is. So yeah, that's generationskeptics.org. And I will link it below as well so you can go directly to it. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just thought it was a really cool resource. And since it's free, I love mentioning free resources on this YouTube channel. So if you decide to use it or have used it before, let me know in the comments. I would love to know what you think. Uh, if you think you might use it, let me know that too. And uh, stay tuned for this channel subscribe for more free resources or other things that I think you would like all right I'm not going to turn you around that's it for now bye